Hello YouTube, it's Brian McComas here. Um, this video is about calling out people, but I, doing it in a nice way. You know, not doing it as a troll, not doing it to be rude and, and, and bad behavior. <clears throat> um, I've only been in Wing Chun a little bit of time, but when I got with uh, my Kung Fu brother, who kind of became my Sifu, he was really good at it. A lot of other higher leveled uh, Wing Chunists would give him credit and tell him he was a Kung Fu genius and all kinds of stuff. Um, within that, uh, for whatever reason, you know, I offered to to build this guy a, you know, a studio and let him teach and he didn't want to do it. He was just trying to find people off Craigslist. He was trying to find people off forums and get them together. And we got people every now and then, but people would drop out because Wing Chun can be hard. Um, especially when you're learning the footwork and you're getting into the Yiji Kim Young Ma stance for a while. Americans have really bad knees. We do. We have really, really bad knees. Most of those people, um, you know, that would come into class couldn't handle it because <clears throat> you're working your knees and your ankles, you're working your legs. And it's like, it's like going to a gym and doing nothing but squats all day, man. It's hard. You don't want to come back. Uh, you know, if you've done leg day, you don't want to come back the next time. And do leg day again, and again, and again. But anyways, I had almost uh, 20 years in jiu-jitsu, real jiu-jitsu, not Brazilian jiu-jitsu, real jiu-jitsu. Brazilian jiu-jitsu is like judo. Uh, I'm not bashing it, but it is It is clearly, it's judo, it's not jiu-jitsu. There's all kinds of rules with jiu-jitsu that Brazilian jiu-jitsu breaks. It acts more like uh, judo, okay? Uh, but anyways, I was in jiu-jitsu. I had almost 20 years from student to instructor, and when I met this this guy who became later on became my kung fu brother, his name was Jeff. He blew me away with things he was doing. It almost felt like he was moving supernaturally. Uh, the strength and the things he was showing me on display blew my mind. I can remember one time when he gets down to a stance, and you know I I've seen thousands of other martial arts, thousands. I've sparred with. Probably three or four hundred different people out of different martial arts. That's a lot of people. Most of you people, most of the masters, let me tell you something. Most of the masters who have 50 years have not sparred with two or three hundred people out of two or three hundred different martial arts and schools and stuff. I have. My school did. We traveled around. We made friends. We would go around to all these events. It didn't matter if it was a board breaking event or if it was a sparring uh, point fight contest we would go we would make friends we would go back to their dojos and stuff like that we would socialize so anyways when i got with um uh wing chun and i started to see how serious it was it blew me away because there was things i was told in jujitsu that you could never do and they were like um they were like combat laws and i was seeing these things broke all the time by wing chun and wing chun just you know going through the mold man so I'm like, damn, and I'm telling you right now, I gave up my, I gave up jujitsu to train Wing Chun. So during that process, I took it very, very serious. I just took 20 years, 20 years of my life, and you know, if it was a, a mug of coffee and the coffee represented all that knowledge I accumulated, I dumped it out. I'm telling you, I dumped it all out. I did, you know, I did the old kung fu illustration of how can you learn something new when you're already full of something. I dumped it out, man. 20 years. Dumped it out just like that. And I went headstrong into Kung Fu. I wanted to learn everything. So I learned all these little basics. I learned these tips and tricks. Why you do one thing and you don't do another. Uh, all, you know, I had questions. I, I drove Jeff nuts with questions. Um, it got to the point where he was telling me, you're doing it wrong. So many times that he would apologize. And he'd be like, man, I'm not trying to scare you away from training. And he never did. I loved it. If I threw a punch wrong, he'd be like, man, put your shoulders down. You know, come, in, come out, your shoulder's only supposed to rotate. It's not supposed to pop up. It's not supposed to pop out. It, you know, it, it, only, it only rotates. And he would constantly, constantly correct me. And I love that. Because he's not trying to be mean. He's not trying to be rude. Hey, I knew that and he knew that. So, here's my point. Three years later... I understand what Wing Chun is supposed to be. Am I there yet? No, I'm not. I'll gladly tell anybody that I'm not. I'm still a beginner. But there's certain rules. There's certain ways that you do everything. There's certain ways that Wing Chun does a kick. It, you know, if I see somebody 
doing some show, showy like Hollywood kick where they where they do something that breaks their stance, breaks their grounding, telegraphs especially, then I can sit there and say that's not Wing Chun. So here's what this video is about. For the last three years, I have gotten in some trouble. I have made some enemies in the Wing Chun community, which is not hard to do. Because I tell them you're doing it wrong. And it's usually when they show a video of a demonstration of something and they do it so screwed up, it's beyond it's beyond screwed up. And I'm like, you're doing it wrong. You're and then I will try to correct them. You're supposed to do this, this, that, and this. You're doing this when you should be doing this. Man, the Wing Chun community does not like to hear that you're doing it wrong. Why? I heard it nonstop. I came out of jujitsu. And I dumped 20 years of my life experience like that in order to learn Wing Chun. You better believe I took it serious. So when somebody else is telling me you're doing it wrong, I'm going to listen. I'm not some entitled, spoiled little bitch that sits there and says, no, I'm not doing it wrong. When somebody says you're doing it wrong, I want to hear why they think I'm doing it wrong. So here's what I've noticed. For the last three years, I've run around saying you're doing it wrong. I had no friends now in Wing Chun. But I've noticed that all of the, so many subscribed uh, masters uh, in Sifu uh, Wing Chun, you, I, I, I caught on to what you guys do. You guys post videos with screwed up titles in order just to get somebody in there. Why Wing Chun does not ever work? Why Wing Chun can never counter this kick? Why Wing Chun will lose a street fight? You all post stuff like that to get the Wing Chuners to click that video, and then your video has nothing to do with bashing Wing Chun. Your video is telling them how to do something correctly, and then you set up a demonstration of why everybody's doing something wrong, and not, and yet that thing that they're doing wrong is not something you teach. When when all you could have done was say you guys are doing it wrong. It's like you guys are afraid to say you're doing it wrong. So instead what you do is you post it. And I'm not bashing the masters that do this. I see you. I, I, I'm on board with you. All right. But you need to also tell these people they're doing it wrong. I just saw a video the other day of some dude doing Pac way the hell out here. Now you got Man Sao and you got Wu Sao. And they're between this range. Okay. One is one. One is the other. There is no. Wu Sao is not way out here. Okay. With my, you can see my arms almost all the way extended. A slight elbow drop. That's not, that's, you know, you can't be doing POC way the fuck out here. It basically becomes a view at that time, only you have your hand down it if you're doing it that far up. When I learned POC, when I learned POC, punches were coming at me, and I was told to maintain the POC with it. See how bent in my arm is? I was, I was so scared that if I missed that POC, that I was going to get punched in the face. Because you're blocking about right here, Okay. You're blocking it about right here. You're not blocking it way the fuck out here. So then, this guy goes on and on and on, showing Pac way, way out here, okay? That's a sloppy Pac, number one. Number two, somebody else counters that guy and's like, Why Wing Chun's Pac can never work when you're excited. And the dude took down his title later on, but his entire video was about how you should do your Pac here, because in the form... You are taught to do POC here. You're not taught to do POC way out here in the form. So if in the form you're taught to do tan here, then your tan should always be about here. Doesn't matter if it's high or low. Your, your, elbow, your elbow and your arm doesn't move position. Your shoulder rotates, but you don't do tan way out here when your arm becomes straight because then it's not a tan. It loses its meaning. Every Wing Chun move is a verb. A verb. Okay? That's the thing a lot of the new new guys don't get. Okay, you're dispersing energy. That's what tan is about. Okay, if you grab dude's punch in mid-flight at the wrist and you're able to turn, that's not technically dispersing. You can't call that a tan, all right? The original designers of Wing Chun figured out what moves were best suited to do the verb. Okay, so they understood that if you're going to disperse energy, they taught the tan this way. So don't be doing the tan all kinds of ways, you know. But the thing is, these masters, they're making these videos.
And instead of just saying Wing Chun, Tan Sao, you're doing it wrong. Instead of titling it that, they title it Why the Wing Chun, why the why Tan Sao can never stop an incoming punch. And you do that for clickbait, but then on the video, you're like, hey, don't hate me, don't this, don't, before you argue and yell at me, hear me out, blah, blah, blah. And then you go in to explain what tan is, what it is not, how it is to be performed, and so on. And then you guys turn around and you're like, <clears throat> and then somewhere in the video, you guys are like, now you guys are doing it like this, but I'm saying doing it like this. Why can't you say, dude, you're doing it wrong? Start saying you're doing it wrong. Wing Chun, you're doing it wrong. I'm going to be brave, and that's what this video is named. Wing Chun, you are doing it wrong. I, I mean, there's like, and it's not one master doing this. It's not one. There's like 20 or 30 people doing this, okay? Don't be afraid, guys. Don't be afraid to look at your Wing Chun practitioner, your Wing Chun brother and sister, your partner, whoever, and say, Shoulder down. You're doing it wrong. Or, you know, get back in EG Kim Young Ma stance. You're doing it wrong. Don't be afraid to tell them they're doing it wrong. Because how you train them is how they're going to remember. And one day they might have to get into a fight where it's life and death. And if they turn around and do some stupid Jake Mace trick that they learned off of YouTube, chances are it's because they practice a thousand times like Jake Mace. You will do how you are taught. So when I am doing the action of doing, I in the back of my mind somewhere have it, now don't do this, 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 and this because that's wrong. Do it like this. And that's why I've gotten really good at Wing Chun in the last three years. I have soared through Wing Chun. I'm still a practitioner, still a beginner. But I've met up with some other people and everybody that ever touches hands with me goes, man, I cannot believe that you have less than five or six years in Wing Chun. That's because I had a damn good teacher. That's because I had a friend who sit there and told me nonstop, Brian, you're doing it wrong. So I, that, I, you know, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just throwing it out there. Start telling your people that they're doing it wrong and correct them. Don't give them these goofy YouTube titles for flashy effects and for drama just to get people to come in. Okay, why Wing Chun... Can never work in a fight. And then through the entire video, you never once say that Wing Chun cannot work in a fight. What you do is you showcase what you've seen other people do. And you say that it's wrong. Okay? I mean, ugh. Talk straight to people, man. People deserve to be talked straight to. Tell people they're doing it wrong. Don't make these goofy videos.